Um, when I make decisions, I study the issue very hard. I look at the data and critique the data. And I try to arrive at a decision that's in the best interest of our citizens and our students, most importantly. I'm not beholden to any interest group, so we have to rely on the experts that we uh, have hired uh, to advise us on this project. And I see three people here who obviously have probably had significant experience, not to diminish yours, Rick, but Jeff Kimball, Bob Poole, and Frank Welsh. Because this is not democracy in action, exemplified by misstatements of fact. So it is a much more complex uh, situation than just yes, no. Okay? A pretty efficient school district. We run very efficiently fiscally. It's like the, the letters. It's not yes, no. It's much more complex than that. And we have a responsibility to analyze the complexity and see how it fits with our situation. The one building solution that we have adopted is the right decision for this community at this time. We have spent um, three years studying the high school issue and it is consistent with the strategic plan of 2001. To treat elected officials the way we have been treated tonight and the way we have been treated other times, as Bob, re Bob Asker referred to as the, the charges of, of and innuendos that have been raised against us personally, the personal attacks. You're I really think that one of the things that we need to do is to get out in the public more. Um, I do think that we've taken advantage of, of email. Uh, we have tried to advertise as much as we could public meetings. Um, but we could get out into the public more. And I would, in, I would uh, if I were elected, I would do that. I would get out and meet the public in various venues. Okay. Thank you. Rick Medor. You have been elected. I <laughs> <laughs> would also like to say that I do not need to be on this school board. 